Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Lion of Sodor. <sighs> oh, I'm I am so mad. <laughs> so I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed by this. It's a very bad release to say the least. So this was put out in theaters like the other season 13 release on October 2nd of 2010. It was put out uh, a little over two months later on DVD on December 7th of 2010. Why, I think I talked about this with Mary Winter Wish, but why wasn't the Christmas release put out during Christmas time? I don't know, it probably was that Black Friday thing that I was talking about last week, but... Yeah, and I'm looking at this now, I don't really talk about um, international releases, but apparently this got a Blu-ray Blu release in Germany? That came out on August 5th, 2011. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, um... Oh, I just hit my watch against the table. That wasn't good. Oh, I kind of scratched it. Oops. Oh, well. Let's take a look at the release itself. So if you notice, we don't have any engines here because... Thomas is pretty much the main character in all of these episodes. I mean, yeah, other engines do appear, like the Steam Team does appear in the Lion of Sodor episode, but they're not, like, main characters. And then Hero has his episode, but I didn't really want to make a set for two characters, so I just put I just put random trees here, so deal with it. <laughs> so there we have a new gift arrives for a grand adventure. Thomas and Friends, the Lion of Sodor, kind of cool logo. I actually don't really like this cover that much. I don't like how Thomas and Percy look. It looks like they're from like a 2005 video game. It just does not look right. It does not look look like the final renders for them. But there's the lion front and center just sitting on the tracks. The lion looks so ugly in this lighting. I don't know if it's the texturing or the actual lighting on the lion itself, but it looks terrible. It doesn't look shiny at all. I even thought that as a kid. I was like, that doesn't look grand. So there we have the hit logo, Thomas logo, the Lion of Sodor, Thomas from the front, shared by Lions. Yeah, I should also mention that they're inside Nafford Station here. With a very weird sky. It kind of looks like it's like a drawing. It does not look like, look like the clouds from the series. So, well, but yeah. There's a side. Here is the back. Full steam ahead for... Lion size fun and adventure. Oh, I was reading that weird. It should say adventure, just like I was saying with releases in the past, but who cares? There is your description. And then right down there, or right up there, we have only on DVD featuring, featuring activities and fun with Driver Perkins. Love this man. Um, he is quite a baddie. Um, right there in the bonus features, we have. Excuse me, Determination, Karaoke Song, Party Train, Match Game, and Timmy Time episode, Timmy's Plane. I believe we got that exact same episode on one of the season 12 releases, which is very lazy. So, naughty, naughty, you, Lionsgate. There's a lion again with Thomas pushing it, just a stock standard Thomas from the Nitrogen era. Oh, there's all that on there. This cover, this release is just lazy from an aesthetic standpoint so far. It just does not look very remarkable. We'll open it up here. Oh, it's kind of like, why is it wet? The case is like wet. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, but there's the disc. It's pretty much just the poster. Oh, we can see more of the station though, so. Or maybe it's, I think they've just been moved back a little bit. Oh, well. Yep. Yeah. Pretty stock standard. Oh, excuse me. And it's an Nico case, so it's very thin and flimsy. So, yeah. Um, I saw somebody comment about this on last week's episode. Um, I did not have this at the time of recording the collection video. I've had this, though, for about two, three months or so. I believe I got this around May or June. I just bought it off of eBay because I was like, oh crap, we're getting up to the CGI series soon. We're getting up to this release soon. Might as well just buy it now so I can have it by the time we um, hit, this, hit the releases coming up to this. So I have it now. 
I'm still missing a good amount of releases, um, but I'm planning to get those in the next few weeks or months so we can have them by the time we get to those episodes. But yeah, got this off of eBay. I think it was only like a dollar, so that was pretty cool. I mean, these these um, CGI releases, especially from the Nitrogen era, are actually very, very cheap because a lot of people have them. Because apparently this was a big thing back in 2010. Thomas going animated and everybody loved it. Not me. I don't love it. Um, yeah, what episodes do we have in here? We have The Lion of Sodor, Thomas and the Pigs, Time for a Story, and Hero Helps Out. This release is actually extraordinarily nostalgic for me. So I used to watch this on Netflix all the time. And if you remember... If you, um, 2000s, 2010s kids, remember what a leapfrog is? I don't know what, that's the brand. I don't know exactly what the name of the device was. If I can find a picture, I'll put it on the screen, but, um, my dad got, like, got a whole bunch of Thomas episodes from, like, PBS Kids or something. I don't know exactly from where. And he put them onto this tablet, and I used to watch the whole release, so that was really cool. Um... And I actually really, really like the Mr. Perkins segment. He actually sets up a whole, like, model railway. And I gotta say, even as a kid, that was the most interesting thing to me. Um, I think this is probably the best Mr. Perkins segment of all of them. I haven't rewatched all of his segments, but I'm betting on... I'm pretty sure this is the best one. There may be one later down the line, but... Oh, the one with Archie. That one's pretty good, but... For now, this one is the best. What do you think of these episodes, though? Well, I think they're all terrible. <laughs> um, the Lion of Sodor, probably the stupidest we see these characters. Why would the drivers just pour syrup and throw fish into these into this like big old crate? And how does nobody, How does Thomas not know about that lion? He's been on Sodor longer than any of those engines. He should know what it is. Thomas and the Pigs, I don't even really remember it that much, but I remember as a kid, I was like, oh, this is kind of cringy. It's probably pretty bad, though. Time for a Story has a very bizarre crash with that truck, or those trucks, plural, excuse me. Yeah, just not very good. And then Hero Helps Out. I always thought that episode was so weird as a kid, and Sir Tom was like an asshole for yelling at Hero. He was like... I don't remember exactly what he said, but he was, like, yelling at Hero toward the end of the episode, and I was like, oh, I don't like this, I love Hero, stop being a bitch, you're not mad. But yeah, that episode is probably fine. I don't really remember, though. The only one that I do remember is The Lion of Soda, because it's notoriously known for being one of the worst of the whole series. Um, give me one second, I do want to, um, I'll, where we, we will reorder the episodes really quick, so... Of course, we're going to keep the line of soda first. Um, oh, never mind. They are in the same order. Okay, that's good. So I'm looking on the wiki right now. Um, the official ordering is the line of soda, then Thomas and the Pigs, Time for a Story, and Hero Helps Out. Okay, that's kind of cool. So if you give me one second, I'm going to actually look up something because when this was shown in theaters, um, I don't know who gave it out. I don't know if it was Hit or Mattel who was making the toys at the time, but um, there was a line of Sodor like Trackmaster thing that came out, and Mattel or Hit sent that out to theaters, and they could put that on display to advertise. Um, it's not a movie, the episodes, I guess. We don't really need to research it that much because that's pretty much all the information that we have. Apparently, only a few were ever made, and it is now one of the rarest Trackmaster items ever. So, I've known about that for about a year or so now, but I just thought, if you guys didn't know about that, um, now you do. I don't really want the item. If I ever came upon it, I would be happy that I found it, but I really don't have a thing for it. It's literally just like this, that statue right there on a blue flatbed. It's not very remarkable or anything, so I probably would sell it just to get the money, but who knows? I'm not really a huge... I like Trackmaster, but I'm not, like, a diehard collector. But yeah, this release, very bad. I'm glad that it's the final official Season 13 release. We do have 
um, a release coming up known as the Birthday Express. I believe that has the last two season 13 episodes. I could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure they are on there. So yeah, we're not completely done with the season so far. Sorry if you can hear some noises. That's my dog in the background. I apologize. But yep, uh, we are not done with this season yet. We kind of are, but next week we're taking a look at, or the next time I see you, we will be taking a look at Wobbly Wheels and Whistles, which is delving into more season 14. That release is really bad. Like, oh, it's terrible. The seasons are just going to get worse and worse as time goes on. Like, this season is pretty bad so far. Uh, it's nostalgic, but it's bad. But season 14 is even worse, and season 15 is probably some of the worst Thomas content ever made. So, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that. But, yeah, that's all for this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!